Like, look at this. Look at this water. It's like blue water and then it's purple water. That's sick. Hello guys, this is Spider Rock, and welcome back to another add-on showcase video. Today we are going to be checking out the Exploration Craft add-on by Aguilis Gamer. I probably said that completely wrong. Anyway, this is an add-on that adds in some new biomes, some new structures, some new items, some new armor and weapons and spells and magic and crafting, blocks, all kinds of stuff. And it's really cool. Um, I'd also like to mention that majority of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so if you would like to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And also, I'd like to make a little disclaimer that I'm not going to be able to show off everything that's in the add-on, and some of the things you will only generate in brand new worlds, and since I'm in my add-on showcase area, some of the structures and biomes will not actually generate in this world. Um, but this is an add-on about exploring, so I recommend that you go into your own world and explore everything else that this add-on has that I don't cover in this video. Okay, so these are the things we're going to be checking out today. So we're, we're gonna go through this. So I've grabbed a handful of the gear items. There's also with the jade and amethyst stuff, um, there's also tools and stuff for those, but uh, we'll get to everything else later. First, I want to check out the wizardry and witchcraft stuff. So, one of the most, I think the most recent update to this add-on is the wizardry and witchcraft update. It's That's a uh, tongue twister you got right there. Um, it adds in spell books, tomes, wands, a wizard workbench, some wizard boots, and wizards. So, how all this stuff works, if I go ahead and spawn in a wizard, I don't know if he's instantly hostile to me. I don't think he is. Are you hostile to me? He doesn't seem to be hurting me or anything. Well, I'm gonna put on his clothing. I'm gonna imitate the wizard. See, look, we're buddies. He's just my wizard bro. All right, anyway, um, so I'm just gonna leave this guy here for a minute. So, we have these wands. So, how you change, they have like sort of different things you can do. How you change them is you crouch. You interact with the ground, and then as you can see there, it says poison, fireballs. Now that I'm, uh, I have it on fireball, I can shoot fireballs. And uh, I do have to wait for it to recharge, and it does actually take away some of the durability. Um, but I can shoot fireballs. So I'm going to try to attack this other wizard guy with fireballs. I can trade. Why, why am I trading with him? All right. Well, I can trade with him XP tomes, and then I can give him my XP tome. I need an enchanted XP tome, I guess. Is there a way you can get enchanted XP tomes? I guess I just didn't grab them. Um, well, anyway, you can get XP tomes. I still don't know what these do. If they're used for crafting or something, I should probably look at that on the on the add-on page. And as always, there will be a link in the description if you're interested in downloading the add-on. Um, but yeah, so I want to try out all of these little spells. Can I actually throw a fireball at him now? Did it work? Can I can I hit you? Oh, yep, it worked. Okay, is he gonna be mad at me now? Hi, you're not mad at me. You're you're bad. You're bad at being a wizard. You suck at being a wizard. You're bad. Uh oh, this probably isn't good. Probably isn't good. What else can I get? Freeze. Okay, let me freeze this guy. There we go. I think I just froze him. Okay, can I get a heal? Can I heal myself? Come on, heal. Okay, there we go. You get uh, regeneration. Now he's trying to shoot stuff at me. Oh, he froze me. Okay. okay I'm going to poison him now. Let's see how that goes. And then I need to go back to the fire one because that one seemed pretty effective. I don't know how much health the wizard has, but I'm going to just, uh, you know, we're having a wizard battle. The epic... The most epic wizard battle. And I'm, I'm sorry if I'm all over the place with this add-on. This add-on adds so much stuff, it's hard to cover it all, you know, in one video. Which is why I'm not covering it all. And if you're interested, then, oh wow, that actually worked. Oh, it does three attack damage, okay. Uh, because I'm not covering it all, there's going to be some stuff that if you want to check out, you're going to want to download the add-on and actually explore it for yourself. So how we upgrade the wand, which I don't know if you can upgrade a, a slightly worn out wand, is you use the wizard workbench. Now, I don't entirely know. Oh, wait. Okay. I put down this here. Do I use like the X? What do I do? Okay. Well, I know it'll say it on the page in the description. You somehow use this workbench to upgrade your level one wand into this level two wand, which I want to see what it does. I think it just does the same things except better. Oh, Thunderbolt and invisibility. Let's try this. So you get invisibility. Wow. Look how invisible I am right now. You definitely can't see me. Okay. Let's see, we got poison, fire, okay, just adds heal, uh, or thunderbolt and invisibility. Does this do- Okay, that summons in lightning. That is a- that is a lightning summoner for sure, okay. Well, I'm gonna use this thunderbolt thing, actually. Let me swap over to, uh, where is it? Heal? Um, I'm gonna swap over to heal, and, uh, heal myself before we fight some of these guys. So let's see, thunderbolt, I wanna see, is it effective? Is this effective? Uh, thunderbolting, okay, well, the fire is hitting myself too. I guess that does make sense. I mean, realistically, if a lightning bolt struck that close to you, you'd probably 
get injured in some form. If I put on invisibility, will they be able- yeah, uh... Yep, they see me, they see me for sure. Okay, come on, come on, fireball. Where's- where's heal? Here, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, let me heal myself. Thunderbolt, there we go, okay. These guys will not suspect a thing that I'm burning myself. That's really the only reason that I'm- that I'm getting- getting die. Alright, well anyway, there's a couple of spell books. The only two that I was able to find, I think these might be the only two, in the, uh, in the creative mode whatever inventory, are levitation and random effects. So levitation does exactly what it sounds like, uh-oh. It adds random, or not random effects, sorry, that's the, well, I died, okay. It adds, it gives you levitation as well as slow falling, and then it gives you these really cool little particles. These are actually just, uh, Actually, these aren't really cool particles. These are part of my texture pack. Never mind. I keep forgetting that they're part of my texture pack. Those are just the, the regular effect particles. And then there's the random effects one, which gives you a random effect. So I got slowness. Uh, maybe I have to wait for that first effect to wear out before I can use it again. I don't know. Let's see. Well, I'm going to see if I can take out the last of these guys. Does this do more attack damage, by the way? Oh, it does four. Yeah, it does more. That's nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's try the random effects again. Did I get anything good? I was killed by magic. Okay, well, let's move on from these. Do I have 30 XP yet? No, I don't. Um, I'm gonna actually, just so I can finish clearing out these husks, I'm gonna grab myself- uh-oh, this isn't good. I'm gonna grab myself a jade sword and, uh, see if I can finish these guys off. So, there are new ores, and the new ores, I'm pretty sure, do spawn beneath the new biomes, and I don't know if they spawn the regular biomes. Um, I doubt they'll spawn in in my world just because I've already, like, loaded pretty much a lot of the world. There's a reason this world is, like, half a gigabyte in size. Um... But there are a lot of cool armors, and I'd especially like to point out the jade armor because I just think it looks really nice. So if I throw this on, the helmet, it's just kind of, it's like part upside down helmet. I don't know. It's like an inverse helmet. It look kind of like an alligator. Uh, but it is very cool, I will admit, and I do, I do like it. So I don't know what the deal with the new music disc is, and if it actually works. I forgot to, to give myself a jukebox, so I'm just going to do that. So... I'm playing Aaron Smith Dancing Chrono Remix. I don't actually hear it though, for some reason. But uh, you can get Ruby Jukeboxes. Um, that's that's something that the add-on adds. I'm, you know, yet again, I'm unclear. Maybe I should do something, I don't know. It probably, yet again, read the add-on page. It probably explains how to do everything and I didn't read it thoroughly enough because I'm, you know, lazy and stuff. Um, the other mob that this adds is the Dark Enderman. So this is why I wanted to get some of this stuff and get these new uh, Ruby and Amethyst apples, which I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of them just so I can heal up. Um, so these guys are Endermen, but probably cooler. So if I can find this guy, these spawn in one of the new biomes, the new biome with all the new cool blocks. Uh, I think it's called like the Dark Forest biome. They don't seem that bad to fight, um, especially with like this armor. I don't know why that first thing is... Why my armor bar is all weird looking. Um, huh? That's kind of, that's kind of weird. My armor, does it have like over armoring now? Is this a thing? I don't know. This is kind of weird, but it's interesting. You know, it works, I guess. The jade armor is pretty cool though, I will admit. I thought the dark endermen would be harder to fight. Um, Cause you know, endermen are pretty hard to fight, but I guess if you have a good loadout, you can just start attacking these guys and well, I take it back, they do- oh, I don't have my armor on, that's why. That would explain a lot, you see, if you- if you don't have your armor on, you know, that would be a bit of a problem. Alright, well, that's pretty much it for the main things I wanted to cover. I am gonna go ahead and grab some of these things, and we're gonna head over to a dark forest. Now, the trees, because they're technically structures, as well as the rest of the structures in this add-on, don't generate since I've loaded this into a pre-existing world as you can see there's like some weird chunk borders and stuff If you were to use this add-on I recommend starting a brand new world with it But it adds in this really cool new what is this dark dirt as well as in this area There will or at least there's supposed to be planks or like trees that spawn in the area and you can get the wood Turn it into planks. I don't think I can make a crafting table with the planks I wish I could make a crafting table, so I'm just going to give myself a crafting table here, um, but... Alright, well, you can make a lot of really cool things. For example, I've grabbed a few things here. You can make doors with, uh, the, the new purple stuff. You can make, um, let's see, what, what do we have? Slabs. You can make, uh, trapdoors. 
which are all very cool. And I want to see how all these look. So if I throw down a trapdoor, it works just like a regular trapdoor. It's just another trapdoor, which is actually really cool. Um, plus this one seems like a little bit more, I don't know, something about it makes it seem a little bit more beefy than a regular trap door. Maybe just cause it's purple and I like purple. Um, slabs, they look great. They work great. How about a door? Surely the door has got to be weird. I mean, it looks kind of weird in my hand right now, but you know, I'm not complaining really. Why is that? There's like, I don't know. Um, probably just a Minecraft thing, but look, we got a door here that doesn't open. Is this like an iron door style door? I can walk through it partial. What? What happened to- oh, okay. So the door probably renders in the bottom block as like the actual door itself. So if you want to open and close the door, just uh, interact with the bottom block and you can open and close it. Um, let's see if we can line up some of these doors and just have, have some nice doors. You know me, you know I like doors sometimes, you know. Um, but yeah, there in theory should be a bunch of trees in this biome. There are a few other biomes, but look at that! The sky is purple! It is, it's, it's purple now, guys. Watch out for the purple sky. Anyway, we've got some dark fence gates as well as well as some dark fences, um, which are kind of weird looking because you can't actually make real custom fences, but you can make 3D blocks that act like fences, or at least look like fences, even if they don't directly act like them. So there's a bunch of different fence variants. And what I want to know is, are you able to get these different fence variants in a crafting table? I don't know. There's probably a way. And yet again, it probably says on... The website. So after testing this out, loading this up into a custom world, it doesn't seem like these structures and trees are generating either. Um, this could be an issue with my game currently, but there was one thing, sorry for punching my mic, one thing that I wanted to go ahead and look at and show you guys um, before I ended off the video was that some of these biomes have really cool water and really cool skyboxes. Like, look at this, it's like all pink and stuff. And it looks really cool. It's got pink and blue and it's got pink water. It really reminds me of like the Hallow stuff in, uh, in Terraria. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming this is either going to be updated for a future version. Like, look at this. Look at this water. It's like blue water and then it's purple water. That's sick. Um, but I am assuming this is either going to be updated for more modern versions of Minecraft or as Minecraft gets updated, um, this add-on will probably work in the future. It could be made for an older ver version of Minecraft, but it's still a very cool add-on. I hope it gets fixed sometime in the future. Um, so just because it's not really working entirely as it's supposed to, I'm going to have to drop the score down to a six and a half. I was originally going to give it an eight, um, but because I can't get the structures to generate, which this is a completely new world, by the way, with all of the custom biome and whatnot features on, just because I can't get the structures to generate, I'm gonna have to drop it down to a six and a half. But if I find anything else out, I'm going to go ahead and post a thing in in the comment section. Um, so make sure you check that out if you're watching this a decent amount of time after I upload the video, because I may bump the score up to like a seven or eight, um, depending. But yeah, here we have another one of these pink biomes. And so they're supposed to be these really cool like pink, like cherry or like bonsai tree things spawning here. And there's supposed to be like all these cool purple and black trees spawning in there and uh, around the beaches and stuff there's supposed to be like um what are they palm trees and then there's supposed to be like a wizard tower and that's where you find the wizard and i really wish all of that would work right now but i it doesn't seem like it is anyway thanks for watching if you made it here if you're interested in downloading or at least checking out the creator there is a link in the description where you can do that um, they'll probably post on there before I get a chance to see if the add-on gets updated or if Minecraft gets updated to use the add-on. And I will put a disclaimer on screen right now if everything that I've said, um, has been pointless because I forgot to read something. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it here, see you guys later and bye.